good. In some of my other videos, you've seen me talk about specifications for wiping your hard drive. DOD, Gutman, and so forth. Well, I like to call this the uh, 762X39 specification. Stop it. Someone please help me. Baze, what you about to hit that with? 300 Magnum. Wow. All right, let's go inspect the damage. All right, let's inspect this bad boy. Very small hole going in. A little bit larger hole going out. Hmm. Look how it bent the uh, hard drive platter. Okay, you can't hide behind the stack of these hard drives, I don't think, safely. <laughs> Once again, what round was that? 300 Magnum. Yeah, that'll do the job. Testing out Mikey's new little 22. And there we go. All right, let's check it out with the 22. It, hmm. It hit the platter. Dents the hell out of it. But yeah, this, you it, could have a vest of hard drives to stop a 22 long rifle. How's the other one look? Uh, it made it through the case, but it didn't hit the platter. Let's see it. Corner. Ah. Gotcha. All right, Baze, what do we got now? 12 gauge. <laughs> okay, that one bye-bye. Let's go ahead and hit the old one. Let's go inspect. Oh, no, no, not yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, it was only number six shot, though. Number six shot? Yeah. It did bust out the rest of that corner, though. Yeah, that's... I didn't expect it to really go through. Now, if I'd been using something like double lot, And you just knocked this one over. So, I dare say, if you have a vest full of hard drives, you might be able to survive a 12 gauge shotgun, depending on what kind of shot it's loaded with. Number well, six. It was, number six? Is what, well, okay, with a shotgun, it depends on range. It depends on what sort of shot you're using. We went that far away. Maybe 20 feet away, using number six shot. I mean, it's not really going to go through that, but if I was using either a slug, which I don't have any of. You wouldn't be a happy really camper. Good. What? You wouldn't be a happy camper regardless. You'd be dead. <laughs> And get the 762X39, both Western Digital and I'm pretty sure the Maxter failed as well. Oh, the Maxter failed. Epic fail. What, it didn't go through? <laughs> no, no, epic fail for the hard drive. Oh, let me see. Right, we missed failure. the platter. Hard we missed the platter. Just caught the platter about that one. Uh, just missed the platter. Mikey, you're a better shot than I am. Would you take my AK and would you hit it in the oh, platter? No, this one hit the platter. What? This one hit the platter. It went right through it? Jesus yeah. Christ. Hit it at the edge. I don't know. I think this shows it's good enough that where well, I went. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that hard drive is never going to work again, surely. But... Well, with any rifle round besides the 22, the uh, hard drive is pretty much toast. So let's test out some pistol calibers. We've got a 9mm, a 45. And a 57, which I think we only have 38 rounds for right now. Recording? Oh, hell, let's shoot. Oh, let's not shoot. I'm firing low. Well, this is the one that got hit by a 45. Great big old dent. Uh, busted out the back of the platter, but 
you wouldn't be happy about it, but it looks like uh, this Russian Digital could stop the 45. Now, if we can actually get to hit it with the 9mm, we'll see what it does. This is what 1522 bullets will do to it if you fire them all at once. What the back of it look like? As you can see, it's pretty well warped and hmm. pretty sure it's never going to read data again. But for efficient data removal, you'd recommend something a little bit higher yeah, caliber. Efficient data removal, I'd recommend something in the 30-06. All right, since you're a better marksman than me, you want to hit this one drive with a 9mm for me? Sure. Thank you. When ready, Mikey. I didn't chamber around. Damn plastic guns. <laughs> Damn plastic guns. Okay, it's good to know it's not just me. That, that one was toast. That one's toast too. And take out the zombie target. That's oh, cool. Hold up. Nothing wrong with your sights. I'll take out the zombie target. <laughs> cool, you saw where the wad went through. He said wad. I'll edit that part out. Alright, let's see what the 9mm did. Um, it didn't hit the platter. Did the 9mm actually go through that? Kind of looks like it. Damn, let's check the other one. Yeah, it did. And that one took out the corner. I think it depends on the hard drive manufacturer. You think so? I think there's a huge difference in the hard drive manufacturer. Alright, these ones don't appear to be the Western Digital. So, these are Fujitsu's. So do not, oh, actually, we got it through the Western Digital. It also hit at the top at the weakest spot. So. Yeah, it didn't hit through the platter. Uh, actually, yeah, you're right. So maybe the 9mm wouldn't go through if it hit the platter. Mm. Okay, this one only has one hole in it from one of the rifles. Let's see if uh, 357 Magnum will go through it or not. Have at it. That's all the rounds you had? No, I got I got a couple more. Let's go examine it real quick. Okay. Yeah, right, it should have, if it penetrated, two holes. And yeah. 357 gets good penetration as well. Where did it hit? I believe that was the new hole. I'll have to check my video again, but I believe that's the new hole. I think you're right. Yep, let's put it down there and fire a couple more blasts at it. Sure. Fire away. Well, Mikey, considering the test we've done, I think we can come to the conclusion that if you want to do proper data removal, you should probably go for a rifle round. Definitely. And if you're trying to hide behind one, hope the guy's using handgun ammunition. Any other things we can say from these tests, which haven't been exactly the most scientific in the world? I'd say for sure if you want to really remove the data, you're looking at a 30 caliber major rifle round. Hmm. And I think that's what it takes. I don't I don't think the low, uh, the low caliber stuff really is going to do it effectively. And you got to make sure you hit the platters. Hit the platters. Got to make sure you hit the platters. If you don't hit the platters, you're not doing anything. Gotcha. Well, keep that lesson in mind and try this the next time you're using data removal and you don't feel like doing a gutman wipe. This is a lot faster. I wonder if spin right would work on these. <laughs>